Hey, Gabe. How's it going? What did you learn about the defense looking back? Because I imagine that's that's a tape you guys looked at pretty carefully um, over the weekend just to, to try and learn some things. What do you feel, feel like you guys learned? Uh, you know, I feel like one of the biggest things we learned is uh, we just can't take our foot off the gas. I feel like we came out that first half and we were pretty dominant. I feel like, uh, I don't want to say we, we let up a little bit, but we, we definitely can maintain that intensity, keep it going. I, I feel like overall as a defense, I feel like we played well. I got to give credit to USF. I felt like they made adjustments, they made timely plays, and they came out every play and played hard. I just feel like we got to match that intensity and, and keep that fire. Talk to Kalani and Pepe about this, but you know, when you're facing a guy who was aloof, elusive, like USF's quarterback was, playing the angles and, and, and making sure you're aware of the fact that he's going to try and you know dodge and things like that, how do you, how do, you do that as a player? Because there were chances. Guys had chances to, to get to him, and, and he, he often found a way to get away. So how do you, how do you attack that? I mean, I think, yeah, I think there was a lot of opportunities. I feel like, you know, maybe almost every guy on the D-line probably had an opportunity to get two sacks, and uh, we didn't finish through on those. I feel like just going back to the technique, you know, tackling, I feel like we've gotten to chase a lot of quarterbacks this year, and that guy was probably the toughest guy to chase, maybe him or, or Jaden Daniels, the quarterback for ASU. So I just feel like we get back to the technique, the fundamentals, you know, break down and, and don't just dive and leave our feet. And I feel like we'll make those plays in the future going forward. Okay, let's go uh, Jared. Oh, sorry, let's go Jay and then Sean. Hey Gabe, I asked Neil Powell the same question, but where do you rank Utah State on BYU's list of arrivals? Do you consider them a rival? Uh, I do consider them a rival, but I think more than anything, Utah State is just another team to play. I feel like uh, oftentimes there's people who really dislike us, and to us, they're just another team, and I feel like Utah State is a, is a good example of that. Of course, we're going to come out and, and come play to win, but I feel like um, to us, it's just a game. We're just ready to play another game. What does that wagon wheel do? Does that add a little spice, a little uh, incentive to the rivalry? Uh, I mean, the most I think about the wagon wheel is after the game, if we win, we get to listen to that wagon wheel song, the country song, and, and that's fun. But besides that, I feel like most important thing is just to get another W in the, in the win column. So. Well, Gabe, in order to get that W, as you're well aware, I'm sure after this weekend, you guys got to go on the road. This is the first time you're playing in a true road game, hostile environment. I would argue your first actual away game after, you know, uh, Provo South was <laughs> at Allegiant Stadium even. Yeah. Uh, just what what's kind of the difference in the mentality that you have to use to approach an away game and, and in a place where you know those, those Aggie fans are really going to come after you guys? I mean, uh, I remember two years ago playing there. I feel like negative energy, positive energy, regardless of what it is, it's all energy. And I feel like, especially as a defense, we feed off of energy. And so when we hear those boos, when we hear that negativity, I feel like that, that just gives us a little more fire. We want to play even harder. And so I'm excited. I, 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 I can't wait for the boos to come. And, and the chants and the signs that they like to do, I think that adds to the game. It'll give us more fire, more passion, more energy that we'll be able to bring and play within the game. Got one time for one more question. Jake, uh, go ahead. Yeah, Gabe, you're a guy that I think most people look at as an underrated part of this defensive line. Do you kind of take that in stride, just use that to motivate yourself? Uh, to be honest, I feel like uh, I feel like we all play a big part. Uh, but I definitely, especially, I mean, being a walk-on when I got here, I feel like I've always been able to play with the chip on my shoulder. Uh, I've always been, 
I mean, I was counted out when I was out in high school, but the coaching staff here and the players around me have always believed in me. So I really don't feel underrated. I feel appreciated. I feel like I bring value to the team. Uh, but I also, I've always had that chip, and I, I appreciate having that chip on my shoulder. Gabe, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.